Hey guys, as you can guess from the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you my workspace as a software developer student. And if you're new here in my channel, my name is Anna and I'm a student of a programming school, School 21 in Moscow, which is the franchising of uh, School 42, which you probably know. If not, I suggest you just to Google it what the school is. It's a tuition-free school and right now they have campuses all over the world. Uh, or you can also watch videos that I have about school. I'll link down below everything that I mentioned in this video. Uh, so coming back to this, uh, to the topic of this video, this is my first uh, working space, working place, desk. That is relatively small, um, but for like the laptop, it's okay. I also have some space here to uh, put my notebook, make some notes. Yeah, as you can see, it's very small. Um, and which might be the trouble when I buy a monitor, a screen, a big screen, because yeah, you can see that like also because here is the window. Um, yeah, I think it is not a good idea to put uh, the monitor right over here. Uh, but I'll figure it out, I think. Uh, probably I will not buy a monitor and work from the office, who knows. Uh, and um, yeah, but I really like that this workspace is very sunny. So it comes, the sun comes from all of the side of the apartment. So from here, from the balcony and from the kitchen zone. So I'm really happy that it's light up and uh, it's very comfortable to work within the day here. Um, yeah, so, but sometimes I'm kind of tired sitting at the same place so that's why I moved to the kitchen and walk from there that's what I'm gonna be showing you right now let's go so when I am tired to sit right over there in my desk I go to the kitchen zone where I have the bar table and work from here so it's kind of comfy yeah and I work like that I like that there is enough sun coming from the window even though today it's not sunny. <laughs> it's winter in Moscow and it's like the gray sky, but you see that the apartment is lit up in this space where it's the kitchen zone, I mean like the bar table, uh, and in, from the table like over the window that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Sometimes um, I'm kind of tired to sit, so that's why it's the advantage of the um, bar table that you can stand up and the coat of uh, standing. Uh, sometimes I saw, uh, I think I saw videos when people they had like the table, the construction of the desk and with the treadmill and they were like, I don't know, doing sport and coding, which was kind of funny. I just stand. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. yeah, but you can move uh, at the same time, I don't know, like that. And in the kitchen zone, of course, coffee, coffee, coffee. You notice that I have a notebook here and I make notes. I like handwriting. It gives me more, I don't know, like when I have some random thoughts coming up to my mind or I want to visualize something, it's easier for me to draw on, in pa on paper rather than using some digital instruments uh, on the web. Even though I, I do use them, but only after that, if I want to make a quick note, I do it here and then I structureize everything online <laughs> digitally. Uh, if you want me to show you how do I write the code, uh, which programs, uh, tools do I use and also which tools do I use to make the notes and I don't know when I am reading something, watching videos, how do I um, note everything? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment because I kind of planning to do this video and this will motivate me to make it earlier and right here, right now, rather than waiting for, for the eternity. <laughs> and by the way, I also have the video about the apps that um, save my time and um, improve my user experience while well, using Mac. So if you haven't watched, so I'll put the link down below and also there will be a pop-up right over somewhere here. I always confuse the sites. 
So, and I also have the third to work in space in the apartment that I gotta show you. So let's go. Okay, so here is the third working space, working zone in my apartment. Uh, but actually, it's a chilling zone, and my friends they really like this chair, and they can work from that when they come uh, to then they come visit me, and we need for some reason to work, and they work from here and there. So like, oh, Anna, this is the best chair, but. But I don't know, from here I can only, sometimes I edit videos or watch videos from here, but I cannot write the code from here because it's too, you, you, you're getting too lazy. You see, like, I don't know, you can lie on it like that and immediately fall asleep. <laughs> so that's why then I want my brain to work. Um, like when I write the code or study, I do not sit here. I go either to the kitchen zone or to the first uh, yeah, desk uh, near the window that I showed you. And what, most of the time about coding, I go to school. You, can, you, you see that I don't have the space for big screen and for the monitor, but right now after like almost a year of studying the computer science uh coding programming i realized that i really need a big screen sometimes when right now we have uh, complex projects with a lot of files with a lot of code and i don't know for me it's kind of hard to keep everything in my head i mean not in my head but i you know i have this feeling of not having the vision when i um, I don't know, open the text editor in in Mac in like this 13 diagonal um, in this like small, relatively small screen. Uh, at school, on the contrary, we have big monitors and I don't know, I can split up four windows in VS Code and I can see everything <laughs> there and you know, I, I kind of it makes me um, think better of the entire project whereas here I can only see like a tiny part of it I can only see one function in one split window and yeah that's why I'd rather go to school rather stay at home and work but sometimes I do have days that I don't want to go anywhere so I work from home and some, sometimes I have a brilliant idea coming up to my mind that I need to implement right now and write down it right now when I'm at home. And so, yes, of course, I open up my laptop and code. Um, I admit that I think like two times I, um, I think I fixed the bugs that I've been thinking about for like a day. And then it suddenly came up to my mind coming back home and I was like, wow. <laughs> this kind of wah thing. <laughs> so that's why uh, right now I'm going to school because here I, at home you also have a tendency to procrastinate. Um, yeah, see at school I'm gonna show you like this pace there and I hope you enjoy it and you'll understand why I prefer to work from school. So let's go! So as I told you, like I have a code editor, like a text editor where I have like two tabs and here for example is the header file and I can see like the structure of my project here and here the, you can see there is like almost yeah, more than 80 lines of code but it is visible through one window and I can see here all of my files so it's very handy and at the same time I can read a book for example like here or open like a browser and search for like anything I want any information that I want like the subject uh, some tutorials on YouTube and I don't know like Stack Overflow and other stuff
Ну, подумайте. Всегда есть такое, да? That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a good day.